the most effective way of doing stripping paint if you've got this part that's small enough just pop them in a freezer bag and then put the stuff in there and then seal it up that way the moisture is kept so it doesn't um, dry out effectively, effectively makes the the paint stripper last a little bit longer I'll put all these pieces in here and then we'll have a look at it tomorrow and get some of this residue of paint off Let's see how well the um, paint stripper did. I'm going to whip all that out and uh, wash it off real quick and bring it back. See how much work we have to do. Okay, let's see if we can get this zoomed in enough on this. There. See that crack? That's why I pointed to earlier on when I was grinding. That's cracked all the way through the cast. Through here to here. It's a, it's a small crack, but it's enough to warrant welding up, which I'm about to do. I have to bring it up to temperature and then cool it down very controlled.
Man. Hey. Okay, so as I reassemble this, I want you to go ahead and stop the video real quick, go down to the comment section, and comment what you think the color should be of the letters, and watch to the end of the video and see if you got it right.
One of you, one of you want to put this pin in here and I can press the spring. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what was your guess for the letters? And the biggest thing I'm going to have with this, biggest problem, is I've got to try and find some staples that'll fit it. That's a problem because these are wide staples. They're 9 16 on the crown. So this project will be put on the back burner until I can find some so I can show you actually staples. I know what you guys are like. But it's adjustable. This originally, I don't know if you notice, it has another screw hole in there. This you can put different plates down here, I guess, for different sorts of books. You can also put it's like an angle that goes in there for the bind of the book, the middle. But anyway, what color do you guess? Well, I'm going to go ahead and paint the letters gold. I think that's going to look pretty good. So, top marks to you if you guessed it right. Okay, so we're at the end of the video and I hope this gels together because it's taken me almost three weeks to get the staples that fit this staple machine. Uh, they don't make them anymore. I had to wait for the one to come up on eBay. And that right there, their new old stock. And uh, yeah, they cost as much as this so but in the interest of showing you how this thing works and to prove that it does work I figured it was a good decision to go ahead and buy some so that's what we're going to test this is the just see if everything works okay staple coming this in here it's a very wide staple the crown across the top across here is uh, 9 16 which is extremely wide for a stable um, I think it's because these are actually book binding um, it's, it's called the, it's the Acme number one staple gun and it's a book binder and I'll post a there's a, I got like a little pamphlet from when they were designed a little bit of info about them so anyway so these supposedly We'll staple a hundred sheets of paper together, up to a hundred. Well, we're not going to go that crazy because I don't particularly want to break it since I've only said fixed it. So let's start off with a piece of cardstock. You can see it done that right there, no problem. That's a single piece of cardstock. Let's put this whole thing together. So that's three pieces of star cardstock all together. Again, no problem. So, how about we double this up to have effectively. <clears throat> six pieces of cardstock and that <laughs> I'm not I'm telling you guys this is 
there's nothing for this. Um, so six pieces of cardstock and junk mail. Giving it that thick. Yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. How about this? We'll double that over. So, with six pieces of cardstock, junk mail doubled over. Well, you can definitely see us for bait for binding books together. My God. Um. You think it's going to make it this way too? And this has got credit card offers in it too. This is, surely this is pushing us, there's no way. What do you guys think? I don't know so much about this one. How about you stop the video right now, go down the comment section and tell me if you think it's going to make it through. Go down the comment section yet? Right, ready? Three, two, one. Well, look at that. It made it through. It's just the staple is not long enough. This is a 3 8 staple. So the staple is actually. <laughs> the only reason it didn't go through is because the staple wasn't long enough. These, I think the longest staple you can get on this is a 9 16 in length. And I'm sure that they would be able to do it. Because look, it was actually, you can see, it was coming through. Just didn't make it to the bottom. That's awesome. Alright guys, that's a wrap for that one. It took a little bit longer to get this video out than I anticipated. In fact, the previous two videos um, were filmed after this one was started. Well, actually, after this one was completed. Because I just waited for those staples to come in. Um, and I've learned my lesson with that one. I've got a few other projects where I need stuff and I'm going to order it first before I start the restoration because it takes too long. So anyway, so that's it. We'll call this a wrap. I'm going to take the camera off the stand here and zoom around the piece so you can have a look at it and that will be the end of the video. I'll see you later guys.